Welcome to The Good Stuff. With me today, Susan and Donald Grant, organ donor, organ recipient. So I'm curious what life was like before the, uh, the transplant. It was not good. I was fatigued all the time. I needed a lot of rest. I gave Don the kidney in 2007 and um, I've suffered no effects from it and mm -hmm. very fortunately for us, he suffered great effects from it. He was so sick and I was just trying to, you know, take whatever steps necessary to get him well again. So it's interesting to think, think about being in a position to donate an organ to your spouse. One would think that the match wouldn't be there. So, Actually, um, kidneys are a lot easier than other organs. The, the match requirements are, I don't want to say minimal, but they're not as tough to meet. So uh, the minute Don went on the transplant list, that's when I began checking into whether I could be a donor for him. But she told me, and I was very, very emotional at the time. I had to pull off the road, because I just thought my whole life would turn around, and it did. People who have, had or have received organ transplants participate in athletic endeavors, and this is an Olympic event every two years that travels all over the country. We just happened to be lucky enough to have had it in Grand Rapids two years ago, and so they had a big celebration down at St. Mary's for the kickoff of the Olympics, and you meet people that have lived with transplants for 30 some years, been going all over the world to participate in these Olympics. Mm -hmm. it's, it was really, it's really yeah. inspirational. I was gonna say, what a message of hope. Yes. And that there is life after, That's right. and, and a good life after. Post-transplant is almost like you got your life back. He's, um, you know, he's got his life back, and that to me was the point. I mean, everything just changes. You can eat different. You're not fatigued. You're just, your whole, the whole thing just turns around. Turns right around. You go from being fatigued and all the other stuff, and all of a sudden you've got energy. You feel like, well, who knows, this might work, you know, the way I go. I mean, I think we can all think about becoming organ donors mm -hmm. by getting the designation on our driver's license so that if something should happen to us, God forbid, we are allowing other people to go on, people to live. With me today, Don and Susan Grant. Susan Grant, saving lives, and that's good stuff.